Welcome back to TMZ Sports. I am your host, Mojo Mutati, coming in hot because I am joined by WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Priest, coming in hot. Damian, how you doing, brother? I'm living large, dogs. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, brother. I'm living it myself. I'm just right down the street from you. I believe you're only home for 24 hours, you said, before you're back on the road because you, sir, have a big week ahead. Uh, that I do. You know, I got a few things this week in the SummerSlam week. Yeah, brother. Well, let's let's just jump right in and talk about Summer SummerSlam coming in hot, going to uh, Ohio. You got a big championship defense against Gunther. How are you feeling ahead of the match? Uh, I'm excited. You know, when you, you get somebody like Gunther, who's, you know, the perfect hybrid of old school and new school. And you know, some, one of the guys that in ring, he's hands down one of the best on the planet at the moment you know i get to get pushed and see what i can do uh those are always extra exciting for me and it's something that has you know has some steam behind it you know we've been going at it for a few weeks so uh i i think there's a lot of hype surrounding this match and i'm excited man oh absolutely i know the fans are super hyped up about this one i mean two physical two very athletic big men uh how have you been pre preparing and training for this matchup yeah, I, I I like I like to keep what I'm doing the same way. You know, obviously what I what I'm doing got me here. So it's like don't fix what's not broke. You know, I I do my regular training, you know, when I get it in when I can. Obviously, I'm a little busier these days and a lot more traveling. Uh, you know how that goes. But uh no, no, I'm just maintaining, just making sure I stay healthy, you know, and don't take into any too many stupid risks. <laughs> Uh, and that's the main thing for a match like this and for, a, you know, a spectacle that is SummerSlam. Just you got to be healthy. You got to be able to, to deliver uh, and go in every which way you can. So for me, it was, that's that's the main thing that I've been trying to do. Just, just stay limber. <laughs> there it is, man. Well, you've been sitting atop the mountaintop. No question about it. You've had a lot of dealings and interactions with a lot of superstars, a lot going on with the Judgment Day, people coming and going. Everybody wants what you have, I mean, you're going to have a big weekend, but afterwards, what comes next, man? That That's always the good question. Like, what's next? You know, for me, you know, I, obviously I wanted my name to, to be etched in stone so it could live forever, right? And I feel like I'm pretty much there now. You know, you can't take away a world title win, right? Mm -hmm. um, but I need more. You know, I, I'm not complacent, you know, so so I'm the world heavyweight champ. But now now what can I do? Can I can I be one of the greatest champions? Can can I defeat every major superstar? Can can I main event, you know, and and belong and continuously belong in that spot? You know, that that those are the things that matter to me now. Um where can I build a resume that can be Hall of Fame worthy? You know, so that's like another goal now is just keep maintaining on this level. You know, I reached this level. Now, can I stay here? And and I believe I can. It's just a matter of just me continuously putting in the work and continues to, to succeed. You know, that's what's next. It's just everything and anything, you know, that can come my way um, where I can excel. That That's what I want. Well, let's talk about legacy, brother. I mean, like you just said, you got the big boy title now. No one will ever be able to take that away from you, but you're just getting started. Uh, this coming Monday on Peacock, you actually have an episode of WWE 24 uh, named after you coming out. What can we expect to see out of that? So that that's something that was not so easy for me. You know, I, I've given glimpses to my past and to my, you know, outside the arena, you know, persona, you know, who I actually am. Um, but never to this scale. So this is a really, really behind the curtain, you know, look to uh, at my life and my rise and how I got here and all the crap that I had to go through to get here. Um, it, it was hard for me to accept that because I'm, I'm a pretty closed person when it comes to opening up that much and showing my family and whatnot. But the idea of it, it that what, what got me to say yes was basically the idea that maybe somebody could take my story um, and achieve their goals and dreams a little sooner than I did because maybe they needed to see this and hear this from me, you know, where I wasted a lot of time and and I wish I wouldn't have, you know. I, it, it took me a lot to realize that, oh, I got to work for my own dream, you know, um, and things like that. So I, I feel like this can maybe, at least I hope it inspires somebody out there to, you know, to do something a, a little extra for themselves and, and, you know, achieve their goals and dreams because if, I'm one of the not supposed to's, man. So if I did it, I, I really believe a lot of people can. 
Well, hey, man, we're fired up to see this. This is going to be awesome. You got a ton of fans out there that are pulling for you, man, especially with the come up you've had, all how hard you've worked to get here and what you had to go through to get there. That's going to be awesome. Let's let's talk. Uh, let's shift gears here a little bit and talk about something that you are a fan of. Let's talk about the New York Yankees for a second, because I believe you're a uh, season ticket holder. You're a big <laughs> fan. You, you fly back and forth every single chance that uh, that you can get. I believe you've done some activations with the team as well. Uh, what's that been like to interact with the guys? Any friends that you've made on the team in particular? Anything to that extent? Man, it's wild to me that, that that I'm in this position. You know, the day after Raw, after I won the title, uh, I, I go to Yankee Stadium and they, they I mean, the the way they treated me was unreal. You know, that like it was king, you know, they pulled the red carpet. You know, that, it was amazing how that organization treats people. It's really, really impressive. Um, and then getting to interact with, you know, Judge and Soto and Trevino. And, I mean, the whole team. Um, and, and it, man, it's funny how many people are wrestling fans out there, you know, because <laughs> that was pretty impressive. And now I still, you know, I still get along with Nestor Cortez and Trevino, uh, Tommy Cowley. Uh, like there's so many players that are like really big fans and they stay in touch, you know, and they'll mess with me like you're killing it, you know. Uh, let me know when you're coming to a game, you know, and, and even in the booth, like Meredith, like she's such a sweetheart and we stayed in touch. Like there's everybody was treating me so kindly um, getting to to call an inning, you know, in, in English and then in Spanish. Um, th those things like I couldn't believe it. What a what a day I had that, that day. And then that, they're, they were more impressed with the fact that they didn't have to give me tickets like I had my own. <laughs> They're like this never yeah, any, <laughs> any athlete very much appreciates that. Everyone's always asking them for tickets nonstop. Here you are, you have your own. Look, they've made their invites for you to come into their world. Have there been any invites for them to uh come to yours for a day? Yeah, I mean, I I I have you know, obviously they have a pretty busy busy schedule too, but they know like you guys let me know when you guys want to come and you have a day. I was like, I got you. You know, I, I would love to have the Yankee organization involved on, on our side and the WWE side. That'd be amazing. You know, especially like someone like judge, you know, the all rise thing, it just makes sense. Right. <laughs> got to bring them over, man. Well, got hey, to. You know, one more question for you. I'm going to let you go after that. Cause I know you got a crazy week. I I've known you for years now. I didn't know this about you though, but apparently, apparently you're a massive collector of a hand to hand combat weapons. Did I read that correctly? I am a big fan of martial arts weapons, you know, um, and swords, knives, and, and anything to hand to hand. Yeah. I, I collect them. I practice. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I have oh, like my bedroom has weapons all over the walls. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. you heard it. Don't break into Damian Priest's house. It will be a problem for you. If so, what's the pride and joy of your collection? Uh, oof. You know, I, I got, I got uh, like a world war two, world war two, uh, uh, a sword from Japan. Like that, that's yeah. That, that my dad gifted me. That one's probably because it's like, it doesn't even look good anymore. It's it just, but it's like traditional and, and you know, authentic. Uh, that's probably my pride and joy. Dude, that's awesome. Well, brother, hey, good luck this weekend. We're all rooting for you. We're hyped up for this match. It's going to be absolute fireworks. We got the champ, WWE's Damian Priest joining us. Thanks so much for the time today, my friend. I'll see you soon. Yes, sir. Good to see you, brother.